and um, welcome guys so from the last video we are able to make the trumpets section of the public address system which is what we have on the screen so now we have some other parts to complete this so we have the cover we have the battery section component the battery component and we have this part so we are going to go over to the next part which is this cover so what we do first of all is to go on our software say control new control n for that is new so new parts okay so the next thing now is to get the measurements of the cover why uh so so this is a circle or cylindrical shape and what we can see although if you look at it very well you see that this shape is actually being being drafted so we can make use of we can decide to make use of loft to get the shape we can also decide to make use of draft to also get the shape but the most easiest one to use is actually the the loft because if we want to use the draft the next problem we are going to ask ourselves is what is the word draft angle so to use the loft we make use of our vernier caliper to measure we measure the the base and we saw that it is approximately let's say 78 so we measure the top the top circle we saw that it is 71 approximately so we measure the height so what is the height so the height is approximately let's say 43 approximately 43 so what we now do is that we go to our SOLIDWORKS environment sketch so let's sketch this guy from the top plane so from top plane I right click and I say sketch so what I do now is that so this guy was so we'll go sketch a circle circle one so this first circle we dimensioned it sorry I forgot to the dimension again so 78 so dimension 78 78 millimeter so what do we do after doing that we say we are okay with that sketch we go to feature command and go to reference geometry reference geometry we click on plane to add a new plane then the first reference is asking us for three references we tell it the first reference should be the top plane and we need a distance so what is the distance the distance is this height which we have gotten before but just to confirm again so from this height we saw that this guy was 42 so 41 approximately so 41 millimeter so you say okay now after getting that so we have gotten our plane so we come to that plane click on the plane and say sketch on plane so space bar to make those plane perpendicular facing us normal to view so we'll come also here measure this guy the measurement of this guy gives us 72 millimeter so we'll draw a circle of 72 millimeters so this shape is actually a first room so we go 72 millimeters millimeters okay we have gotten that so what is the next thing to do now we want to loft these two sketches to get the shape we are looking for you see we are okay with this sketch then we'll go to the feature manager the feature go to loft 
loft third bus. So when we get to loft third bus, okay, clear selections. So we select the first circle, then select the second circle. Now by the time we do that, we see that they have already created the ship we are looking for. So we say okay. So we have the shape already. So what is the next thing to do? We look at this guy. This guy has a thickness. So what is the thickness of the material used? The thickness of this material used is 3 mm. So we share this guy, we share the cover by 3 mm. So we'll go to the future command and say shell now once we say shell we tell it the thickness thickness is 3 mm now we tell it okay we want this face open we want that face open so this place will be open for us to see through so we'll go this way say okay now once we do that we see that it has already given us what we are looking for okay so now the next thing now is to start getting some of the features that we have on this guy. So I guess the first one I should start with. Let's start with this guy. Um, so which one should I start with? Which one should I start with? Okay, let's start with these markings here. So we measure the markings. So these markings. of the smallest one is height of the smallest one is going to give us 20.5 so let's say it's supposed maybe 21 so let's go to our so what we're now going to do is that we're going to select a white plane sketch on white plane let that plane face me so I come this way, select a center line, select a center line from here upward. Okay, so after selecting the center line, so I want to create some other lines line also center line I create the line this way okay create another line also center line also create another line also escape create another line also So what do I do now? We convert these other two lines to construction lines. So make them for construction. Say OK. So from this place we have five construction lines. So what do we do with these five construction lines? So we tell this guy, here is the midpoint of this guy. The midpoint of this guy and this base, it should be coincidental. So like all the midpoints of these guys should be coincidental with and this base coincidental oh, okay. square sections. So this base center oh sorry. I have to go back to that sketch. Edit this sketch. So click on the center and the line coincidental 
center of this one so identify the center point I don't need this line Wait. identify the center click on the line center line coincidental okay so I come this way also center center line oh I need to face center line coincidental so we are okay with that so what we now do is that we will now create a slot and this slot now from what we have the slot now the width of the slot is actually going to give up of the slot is 3 mm and the middle of the slot from here to here is 21 21.6 so what we just do is this we go this way go to offset entities and tell it we need a width of 1.5 and tell it by directional I click on the first one so once I click on that, it will give me the slot I'm looking for. So what I need now to do is I'll just tell it that the height from the center of the slot to the height of the slot that I need it to be 21.6. So we have gotten that one. So the next one now, we do the same thing for the next one. We click on this line, go to offset entities, the same 1.5, since all these, all these markings are the same. So 1.5, say okay. We go again, the same thing for this guy. Offset entities, 1.5 also. We go to, also to this guy offset entities please try to notice what is selected here we see that after we choose 1.5 we choose bi-directional and we say cap end and we say the end of it should be an arc this is when it's just a line so we choose for an arc so that it will be a slot we go this way so i create another center line starting from here also to this point go this way so this guy the center point of this guy shift this guy points line system delete this one Please. so coincidental so I go also with that line say offset this line so the same thing okay so the next thing I need to do now is to start giving dimensions so the first guy here was 21.6 so the second guy following it was 23 23 is 24 actually so 23.5 oh, sorry So let's say 23. So we go to the second one, dimension it from the center to the top. So this one is 23. So the next one which is at the middle 
is actually the next one is 25 so we'll go to that place also dimension this guy smite dimension it from the center to the edge 25 25 so from what I can see I can see a sequence 21 23 25 so I can now work with my assumption that this guy this other guy better give me this other guy better give me 27 27 okay, this guy why this guy should give me 29 29 so I guess something we need to check also escape this command escape this guy delete okay so escape So let me dimension the first two again since the positions we are different from those of the others. From here to this guy, the center of this guy. So this guy is supposed to be 21. So the second guy from here. To the center up here. This guy is 23. Okay, so we have gotten these five dimensions. So the next thing we need to do now is to get the distance between each of them. Now, to get the distance between each of them, we just go to this place. Measure the distance. So the distance is four. So each of them, the distance between each of them is actually 4 mm. The distance between each of them is 4 mm. Okay, 4 mm. So we'll go and we'll start. So from this guy, the guy is already fully defined. From this guy to this guy. The distance is 4 mm. From this guy to this guy, the distance, that distance is 4 mm. From this guy to this guy, that distance is 4 mm. From this guy to this guy, that distance also is 4 mm. Come here from here to here. Okay, construction line again from here to here. Line again. Line. to here escape line from here to here escape line from here to here escape so we we'll click on offset entities then tell it to offset these lines by that by that by that by that by that so we have gotten back what we had before so what we now need to do now is let me off the other sketch tell it to be hide it so we now go back to s tell it to start from plane. so 
show this is straight, but want it to curve along with the, the surface of this guy. So what we do is tell it offset from surface. Now we tell it it asks us which surface are we talking about. We click on the surface of this guy. Then we tell it okay, we want a thickness of 1.5. So we say okay. So by that we said that. So it's starting from the plane, offsetting this guy by that. So okay, reverse it. So you can see that it's already forming the curve we are looking for. So we say okay. So once we say okay, let me hide this sketch. So we have gotten what we are looking for. Although this guy is too deep. So let's reduce that also. Go back. Let's reduce it to 1 mm. So what we can now do now is that we can decide to mirror this to the other side. Since we have the right plane at the center, we'll just go to mirror, 3D mirror features. So it asks us which, what is the mirror face. The face of the mirror we are using is the right plane. So what is the feature we want to mirror? We want to okay. So we have gotten that in the two directions. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to cut this slot and also this slot. So what we need to do is ask ourselves, okay, what is the distance from here to here? The distance from here to here is after this is cut. So this cut is around the length of this cut is from here to here is 22.4. So we'll come to the let us make use of our extrude cuts there. Extruded cuts. Create a plane. Right there. Front plane. So reference geometry, create a plane. So let's see the other direction. Flip direction. to this side okay so we'll say okay so clean edit features of the clean we need to clean What do I do? I need all these other planes to be hidden so that we can know the plane we are focusing on. Height. So we'll come to plane 3. Sketch on plane 3. Let that plane be normal to us. Normal to us. So we'll come this way. The code here, we notice that this guy is giving us a kind of zodiac shape. We go this way. This is 20. And this guy is 24. Okay, two, that is 23. So 20, 23. And the height of it is actually 20. So we draw that shape, draw a line. 
so let this guy have a center line center line okay so we draw the shape trapezoidal shape go this way go this way go this way so this guy escape this guy should be horizontal this guy shift this guy should be equal both of them should be equal this guy is 20 20 this guy the height of these two guys is 20 or so and this guy is 23 so the next thing we'll do is that we'll tell this line to be this so it should be at the midpoint so what we we'll do now is that we will now extrude it extrude cut it so we'll go to extrude cut extrude cut So tell it to start from plane, then also it should offset from body surface. So this is the body surface we want it to extrude from. So let's say 2, okay, Okay, so I've gotten it what we are looking for. So we'll say okay. So after getting that, so the next thing to do is to give this. Now if you look at this, this guy is a uh, fillet, a chamfer rather. So we'll chamfer it at this point. So it's chamfer, look at this point, the little chamfer. That chamfer should be let's say three. So the sides we are also chamfered. Okay, so we have gotten that place. So the next reference geometry plane, the white plane, or the front plane, you create a plane from this angle, say yes. Okay, so click on this plane, say sketch. Then let this plane be facing me. So we draw our center line. So after drawing the center line, we draw our tripodot, our trapezium shape. So we tell this place U shift U. No. This line and this line both of them should be equal this line this point and this line midpoints so we make sure this place 
want to make sure that place you see that that is 30 and the base is actually going to give us so 30.5 so 30 and 30.5 30 and 30.5 so what is the height the height of this guy the height is 20.5 so height Twenty point five. So we are should cut so we tell it I should cut offset from the surface. So we surface this surface, then we tell it okay, cut by let's see three so we have that this way okay so this is too much because the thickness of our our container is actually three so let's reduce it to one. So we have that now. So what we cannot do is we chamfer it. So chamfer this guy. Chamfer this guy. Chamfer this guy. So last head is not yet. So chamfer this. This. And this. So, okay. Okay. So we have gotten that. So the next point in remaining is for this guy so to do this guy this guy is actually an extruded point so we have to extrude from the surface so let's go to that surface click on the surface okay plane 4 and plane 2 plane 4 and plane 3 should be eating click on this surface sketch bar directed towards me so I come this way so we go this way populate populate Yes. So this guy also. Right. So dimension this guy. Twenty nine point five. Twenty nine point five. Okay. 
Dimension this guy to be 16. So we are done with that. So this is the only guy that is free. So we dimension this part also. So what is the height? So we extrude this guy. upward of direction so extruding this guy by by 8 8 millimeter so contour to be selected is this control? You say yes. So let me jump for this guy. Change the direction. So we have something like this. So we fillet this place with the radius. Fillet this line. Fillet this line. So we tell it to give it a radius of 3. Okay. So the next thing to do is to chamfer this place to get this view. So we we'll go to chamfer. You tell it chamfer this. Let's chamfer this by five. Ten. Okay. I think ten is okay. Okay, we have something like this now. So the next thing to do. So we have got to this position. So the next thing to do is to get all these slots. These slots that we have here. So to get the slots that we have there, what do we do? We can make use of sweep function. We can make use of sweep function and also we can make use of extrude. Extruded cuts. So let's make use of extrude to just make this work simpler. Come to this place, sketch. Let that point face me. So we draw a circle. First of all, so that circle now. I'll draw a center line between this point and this point. Now take that circle to be a midpoint. Circle be a midpoint. Okay. So dimension the circle. Say four. So I'll cut as through that hole.
import S2 to the other side. So I think it should be able to do the job. So cut extrude up to surface and choose the surface so it opens it up to this point. So now is the position for the mic. So the next thing to do is to get the goofy part. Click on this surface, sketch, let it face me. Face me. I come this way. I decide to use a line. Draw a line from here to here. So offset entity, click on the line, bi-directional. This time around I make use of line. I say I want that bi-directional to be 0.25. So I say okay. So we have something like this. Okay, this guy, I need it to be on this guy. So, so click on the center line, tell it to become a construction line. So the next thing we can do now is to what extrude it. Extrude. Let's say extrude by this is a very thin feature. Extrude by one millimeter. Say okay. We have that extrusion like this, but the one is too big, so let's just reduce it a little bit. This to 0 0.5. Point 0.5. Okay, this okay. So the next thing to do is to linear pattern this guy. So go to linear patterning. So for linear patterning. We tell it the direction we want it to go and tell it how many we want to create. You see, off the reference, this is the reference. So, okay, space instance. So, the space between each of them should be 0.5c.5. And we want open time, so let's say one. Okay, so let's reduce it. Um, Okay, so we have that. So other things are just creating slots, holes for the space of USB and the rest of them. I think we should not worry ourselves about that. So let's just add materials so that we can go on to the next one. So click on this guy, add materials so this guy now is red but we need an orange color the double on so we tell it we need an orange color a bright orange for that matter let's go with this see we are okay with this so thank you so we save this as what the cover save as cover 
Kovar.